We chose this house as we were starting to work from home and we were fortunate enough and we felt so lucky that we made this choice because we could have been in another house, any other house almost that we saw and, and it would not have been the same experience. Actually, when I first came into the house, it's kind of like a, kind of unwraps itself as you, as you come into the house because you have the big ornate front door and it's all glass at the front and you realize it's, it's transparent, like you can kind of see, see through it in that, and I like that. Um, but then you realize it's been developed in that way in a sense that you keep seeing new, even though you're kind of seeing through it, you're still seeing new stuff every time you arrive at a, at a different uh, level. Something that really grabbed my attention about this house is that, you know, we're, Giovanna and I are visual people and, and we, we like the visual aspects, but you don't always get a practical side that comes with that and vice versa. It has almost equal amounts, like a, a nice marriage of those two things. It's a sunset sort of house, so you, you see every sunset that, that's available. And it's uh, and they're all different. I feel like this is a modern mid-century. It's it's built on the foundation of something old, and it, it uses all those aspects and all those lovely old uh, old features that aren't available in something modern, and and it makes something completely modern and, and uh, useful. There's always something more to appreciate in a sense, and I, I like that a lot. It's a it's a special space for that reason.